That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him might not perish but have Amen. eternal life i'm glad whoever means me Amen. you and whosoever will that's self-explanatory isn't it whosoever praise the lord meaneth me jesus is the rock of my salvation his banner over me is love Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He saved my soul and made me whole. His banner over me is love. He saved my soul and he made me whole. His banner over me is love. He saved my soul and made me whole. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. 
He filled me with the Holy Ghost. His banner over me is love. He filled me with the Holy Ghost. His banner over me is love. Fill me with the Holy Ghost. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. Jesus is the rock of my salvation. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm glad that his banner over me is love. The Bible said love will cover a multitude of sin. <laughs> Amen. I feel like that the Lord saved me. He can save anybody. I really do. I really, really do. I don't have this mic on, Brother Tony. I forgot to hook it up. Do I need to do that? Proverbs chapter 8, beginning at verses 1, reading through at least verses 13. Doth not wisdom cry? Do I need this microphone too? No. Doth not wisdom cry? And understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of the high places by the way, in the places of the paths. She crieth at the gates, at the entry of the city, at coming of, at the doors, unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man. O ye simple understand, of understanding, wisdom, and you fools, be ye of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things, and the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips." All the words of my mouth are righteousness. There is nothing forward or perverse in them. They are all plain to him that understandeth and right to them that find knowledge. Receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I wisdom dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Brother Jimmy, would you thank God for the word? Father, we thank you for that word tonight. Lord, and Father, accomplish exactly what you want it to do. Praise God. He said, Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice? All of you that's been here to this church, you know wisdom cries. Amen. In our Sunday schools and in our church services, wisdom doth cry. The Word of God is uh, calling on us to have wisdom yeah. and to get understanding. Uh, before that I got saved, the old song Amazing Grace become, you know, our anthem song. I once was blind, but now I see. And that's the that was absolutely uh, amazing uh, was God's grace that opened my eyes to see and opened up my understanding, in other words. Amen. Not just my, not my physical eyes. I, you know, I don't suppose it had a whole lot to do with any of that, but it did with my understanding. It was opened up. It was amazing. Yeah. I mean, uh, now, the other, my uh, former life or the what that I was is only a memory. I never shall forget the day. And it's been different ever since. I've been a new creature in Christ ever since. Now, I've not been perfect, but his banner over me is love. I, God has corrected me. God has reproved me and showed me the right way. I know God's intention is the right. Amen. And he wants the best for you and I. And it ain't always easy, but it's the right thing. Understanding and wisdom. 
Uh, he said in verses 13, went back up 12, he said, I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. This is the verse that leaped out at me. The fear of the Lord, and this morning when Brother Raymond was teaching, uh, we will go to uh, Romans chapter 12 and about verses 8 or 9, uh, where the, he was speaking of, and this verse I found, he said, The fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way, and the forward mouth do I hate. You mean God, yeah, God hates those things. In chapter 6, in Proverbs, the same book, in chapter 6 and verse 16, he said, These six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination to him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood. God hates those things. Amen. You know, uh, God loves you. God loved me when I was a sinner. God loves a sinner man. He loves people while they're in their sin. No doubt he does. He loves them. But yet he hates those ways. He hates a proud look. He hates hands that shed innocent blood. And God help us sometimes, you know, even in the house of, and you know, in God's family. If we ain't careful, we stray out of the way. You know, those are things that God hates. We wind doing things. He said seven are an abomination unto him. A proud look, these six things. A lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that deviseth wicked imaginations, feet that are swift to run into mischief. Some of these things is hard habits for, for us to break. Sometimes it's uh, tempting yeah. to do these things. Uh, you know, the very thought of, uh, uh, and I've been called on this one, you know, when... <laughs> Uh, we're to foolishness. I mean, where it's fun to have fun. It's good to have fun with your friends, and I think it's perfectly fine. No harm intended. You know, to have fun not at someone's expense, not to tear anyone down. We're to build one another up. He said, as iron sharpeneth iron, so a friend sharpens the countenance of a friend. That's how the church ought to be. If we run one another down, Sister Peggy, how in the world would anybody ever want to come to church where there's anybody like who we're talking about is going. You know, I mean, we're hurting, we're, we're, we're bringing uh, reproach on the body of Christ if we talk about one. Now, even sometimes when things are true, we need to take it to Jesus in the yeah. prayer closet where that no one else may know that fault that if there is one. Even if there is one and it's true, it's not for you and I to spread it around. Gossip and uh, tongue wagging. And we've got to be careful about these things. Somebody said words, sticks and stones, and the words, words do hurt. The Word of God tells us that in your tongue you possess the power of life and death. You can kill a person's influence, Brother Doug. You can uh, absolutely tear them down and wound them with your words. Or you can build them up like we're supposed to. But hands that shed innocent blood, God hates these things. Heart that viseth wicked, feet that are swift to run into a mischief. A false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among the brethren. Mm. God hates those things. You know, if we love God, we're going to hate some things. Yeah. We'll hate what God hates, and we'll love what God loves. Yeah. Moses, I believe it was Moses, came to the people. God said, Show, he said, choose life. He said, I set before you life, and I set before you death. God says, I will that you choose life. But it's our choice. We choose those things of life or death. But wisdom crieth at the door. Wisdom, he said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. In uh, chapter 9 and verses 10, Proverbs 9 and 10, he said, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and knowledge of the holy is understanding. Knowledge of the holy. Where do we? The word of God is holy. The knowledge, knowledge of the word of God. To know God. Well, I still remember the hunger that I had, yeah. and uh, that I still uh, desire the word of God. But the hunger I had seemed like I was so empty uh, from the word, so hungry for the word of God. Amen. When I got saved, that I just couldn't get enough. I, I really did. 
uh, grabbed the Word of God and, and, and embraced it, find myself the next morning holding the Word of God. You know, uh, my sleep became sweet. You know, I got to the point I was at rock bottom before I got saved. Uh, nothing in my life seemed to be right. But Jesus, I found Jesus to be right for whatever's wrong Amen. in my life. Amen. I found him to be all, all in all, to make me complete. It's all I ever wanted, all I ever needed. I felt from that moment on, praise God, as the richest man in the world. Amen. I really did. And I really do. Feel like that it's above rich, it's above the, the price of riches, of, of gold and fine gold and rubies and all these things of the world. I'd rather have Jesus. I really did, and I really do feel like way. Praise God. What we will do, you know, we work and we toil for wages in this life, but we need to work most of all, not be slothful. As he said in Romans 12, not to be slothful in the things of the Lord. He said, amen, that these things are more of value than riches and gold. In the book of Romans, where we was, Romans 12 and chapter 12 and verses. Nine. Romans 12, verses 9. He said, let love, let love be without dissimulation. That is, without separation. Abhor that which is evil. Cleave to that which is good. Abhor that which is evil. Separate ourselves from the evil and cling to that which is good. Cleave to it. Be kindly affectionate one to another with brotherly love and honor, preferring one another. Praise God. Our lives affect other people. When I was a sinner, I worried people to death, especially mom and dad, you know. Uh, I've heard people say, well, we're, they're, they're just hurting herself. No, there's always somebody. Our lives affect other people. How we live affect other people. Amen. I want to be a blessing. When, from the day I got saved, I, I wanted to be a blessing in some way to somebody, to everybody that I could. And to tell them about Jesus. Blessing. Amen. But uh, we're to abhor that which is evil and cleave to that which is good. Wisdom does it not cry. He said, no man, in Matthew chapter 6, in verses 24, no man can serve two masters. I'm in Matthew 6, verses 24. No man can serve two masters. For either he will hate one, the one, and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. And I believe Jesus said this of mammon, which is money or wealth, is because of all that mammon can buy. And Paul counseling Timothy, I believe it was in the book of Timothy, he said, for the love of money, the love of money is the root of all evil. Yeah. It may go back to Satan, I don't know, you know, way back, but the love of money is the root of all evil. Doesn't mean that you've got to have a lot of money to be in this situation, but he did say, for why riches are a great temptation. And by, 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 by the riches, people have pierced themselves through for what they will do for money. Steal, cheat, lie. Those things that God hates and that God's people hates that we know is wrong. We know those things are wrong. God has written in our We know what's wrong. Amen. Uh, but God, the Word of God tells us we're to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added to you. Verses 33, seek first the kingdom of God. His righteousness and all these things be added to us. We put priorities. One thing I wanted to do when I got saved is get everything in order and then right. Praise God. Hallelujah. I learned about, I knew about my, my mother was my hero of faith, really. You know, my dad, he didn't get saved till, you know, sometime later on. But I knew Mama was the model of Christian that I should follow. 
I knew Mama wrote a check. Mama paid her tithes. It wasn't easy. I'm telling you, it was not easy. You know, a lot of times they could use that money for other things. But in the long run, somebody said, I can't afford to pay tithes. Mama would say, I can't afford not to pay tithes. The Bible said, wherefore hath a man robbed God? Woo! Huh? In tithes and offerings. Well, how'd they get on? Well, we're trying to, amen, wisdom and things that's right. God's ways is not our ways. God does not need your money. I don't think Brother Jimmy needs my money. I'm not paying Brother Jimmy. <laughs> Somebody said, people that don't understand in the world, they don't know what in the world... They don't know what, they say, well, you pay to go to church, you know. I said, no. <laughs> I said, God has blessed me. Yeah. Amen, glory to God. And I'm just, he just asked for 10% back yeah. and off, tithes and offerings and God loves a cheerful giver and I'm not giving to get, but praise God, you can't go wrong yeah. in serving God with all your, amen, increase, the first fruits of all your increase and social, God has promises for those things that we do. It's only wise to put your money in the right place. It's better than the stock market. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. I heard somebody say just this morning, I believe it was, you know, when we look, people uh, get up in the morning, a lot of people, stock market, first thing they want to see. Is it up, is it down? Praise God. We ought to be looking at the Word first of all. We ought to. As Brother Neil used to tell us, we ought to be a praising God before our heat, feet hits the floor in the mornings. Amen. And have a morning devotion with God. I try, and I fall short a lot of times, you know, but amen. Somebody said I didn't have time to pray. We better take time. There was a little poem about that, and I don't remember it all, but they sure wished they'd prayed at the end of the day. <laughs> After that day was over, Amen. Jesus goes before us each and every day. Seek first the kingdom of God. His righteousness and all these other things will be all right. Praise God. Hallelujah. It may not seem like it. It may seem like things, you know, going the other way. But we don't walk by sight. We walk by faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My life has been better. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't be here if Jesus hadn't saved me when he did. Glory to God, I would not. I couldn't go on the way I was going on. Brother Buck, you know, I would not be here today had the Lord not saved me. I felt like I was at the crossroads of life that day. Amen. That one day that I finally give up and said, I'm done. Amen. I quit. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to church tomorrow, Lord. I'm going. Amen. And I went that Sunday. Felt like running when I got out there, but I come on in. Praise God. Something got a hold of me. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. I was backwards and shy. Hey, I was a mess when I come in. I didn't care what I looked like. Didn't really think about it. Praise God. It didn't matter too much. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. But I, I, I knew that the Lord brought me there. And I knew that I needed to confess and make things right. I knew. Amen. When I, I'd done purpose in my heart. Amen. That I was going to serve God. Hallelujah. The Lord had done dealt with me. I, I thought I was going to die. I mean, I didn't know what to do. I mean, you know, I kind of thought I was going out of my mind a little bit. But praise God, when I got up, everything's all right. Glory to God. I'm telling you, it's a battle. Amen. The enemy, he'll fight against you. Praise God, he'll make you think. I, you know what I said. I, I, I got up and the pastor, you know, asked if I had something to say. I got up before the church and looked out every, over everybody and everybody looked good and everything. And, and I said, well, I, I'm not drunk, but if I'm drunk, I'm drunk of the Lord. <laughs> I said, out. amen. The devil made me think that I'd committed an unpardonable sin before the day's over. You know, worried me to death with what I said. Because I didn't realize when the preacher preached that night, he preached from... Uh, Acts chapter 2 and uh, Peter stood up and said these men are not drunk as you suppose I never thought about that but he said you're not drunk as they they're not drunk like you think they are praise God but this is that glory to God and God confirmed his word then amen of what happened to me and the old devil got another black eye 
glory to God and got another in on him. Uh, from that day, praise God, hallelujah, the word of God. Uh, amen. Uh, it's our defense and it's our shield, our faith amen. as a shield, praise God. Amen. Putting on the armor of God every day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We have a power in the church. Brother Nick Jimmy, I love that Wednesday night when he preached from Hebrews chapter 2. Unless at any time we let it slip. He was talking about the thing. Praise God. We got some uh, good nuggets out of that. I remember when I was uh, ordained. The ordination, we went down to Brother Hartley's church. He was in a different church building at that time. But we went and uh, rode down there in a the van. Somehow I left my Bible somewhere. Didn't have my Bible. Didn't have... I borrowed a Bible, and they told me they wanted to hear me preach. And so I borrowed a Bible, and I preached from Hebrews chapter 2. Lest at any time we let it slip. Praise God, the Lord's with me. Brother Neil, you know, we don't never learn. I never learn how to preach. I depend on God and what God has for me to preach. Amen. But he said, we can't serve two masters. You cannot serve God and mammon. Therefore I say, if you take no thought for your life, what you shall eat or what you shall drink, nor yet for your body, what you shall put on, is not life more than meat, body and raiment? Praise God, it's so good to know God has everything in control. Not having to worry about your bills and stuff no more. I mean, you know, sometimes it comes due. Sometimes we let things slip, and you know, and, and we might get behind. And I, I remember, Brother Jimmy, when Davis Pipe shut down and went to work, up there at Steel Fab, and when I got laid off, but I, man, that was boy, we was so tickled to get out of that place. Well, anyway, we went fishing. But when I come home, the refrigerator had quit. I mean, you know, same day, you laid off from work. Come home, your refrigerator's dead. And all these things that happen when it rains, it pours. And man, it just tries to beat you down, you know, trying to get you. But I know that God's in control. Praise God. Hallelujah. And everything works out all right. We haven't wanted for anything. You could ask Katrina. Amen. She's been a great help to me. But the Lord has blessed us. Amen. I mean greatly. And uh, before she comes along, God has been everything to me that I've ever needed. He's never failed me. I've let God down sometimes. I've been very ashamed of myself. But God is good. His banner over us is love. Wisdom. Amen, wisdom. And uh, James, he said, of wisdom, he said, who is a wise man? And James chapter 3 and verses uh, 13, James 3 and 13, he said, who is a wise man and a dude with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not, and lie not against the truth. The Word of God is full of positive and there has to be a negative. Amen. There is heaven, there's hell. Right. There is evil, there's good. Yeah. It's common knowledge, wisdom. And I believe that's the wisdom that God is trying to get us you know, to understand. Amen. As our pastor used to say, it's just common everyday horse sense. Yeah. It's wisdom. And you don't see it in the world. No. Well, I'm amazed. I mean, I'm taken aback by the foolish unbelievable ways that leaders are in the world today. Why? Because that they have uh, forsaken God. Amen. Our nation of the United States of America, I love America. Amen. I would love to see America turn around. Amen. But America has fallen, fallen, and fallen like, I mean, like Brother Jimmy said, there's churches that don't believe in God. I don't even believe, I don't understand the point. I don't. Brother Dub, I wouldn't waste my time. I'd go down to the lake or go out the mountain, go somewhere and just, you know, enjoy what time I have if I didn't believe. We passed the school out there, the parking lot's full. Of, you didn't used to see that. They don't observe Sunday nights, church. It's church night. It's not ball playing night. It's time to go to church. There's things more important. There's a time for other things. Amen. Man said, well, we don't have time. Sunday's the only time we got. No, Sunday's the only time you don't have. 
if we've decided that Sunday is going to be the day that we're going to worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Somebody said the Sabbath's the Saturday. I don't care. Anyway, amen, we need to set aside a, a day, yeah. amen, to have church, the Lord's Day. And it's the day, as far as I know, it's the way I was raised anyway. If I'm wrong, I'll do it in ignorance. But Sunday is not the time to play ball. Sunday is not the time to mow the yard. I'm talking about wisdom tonight. Amen. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. I fear God enough to know better. Amen. I read in the Old Testament, Brother Raymond, where that a man was stoned to death because he's picking up sticks on the Sabbath. He was stoned to death. I think about that because I caught myself out there. I was picking up sticks, you know. My yard, I've got trees that just rain sticks all the time. And I've caught myself doing such things. But I am not going to lay out of church and go to the ball game. I remember at Davis Pipe, we had a softball team. If it's all right, he said, out of a good conversation, of your good works, let your light so shine. I'm not bragging on me, but the Lord changed me, and that's what I'm bragging on is Jesus. Amen. They had a ball team, and I told them I'd play, but I said, if you play on Wednesday, I'll be at church on prayer meeting. Right. I said, don't come and ask me. He said, okay, we, we understand, but we need you. The reason they needed you to have to forfeit if you didn't have enough. Not that I was a good ball player. They needed a person. <laughs> they needed a person. And uh, sure enough, one Wednesday, said, oh, we're going to have to forfeit. Can you make it? said, you can go to church anytime. I said, no. I can go to church tonight, but I Amen. told you to start. I said, I'm not going. And I did not. And I thank God that he gave me that understanding that I didn't. Amen. And I think it's important to stand your ground. Well, I, I've got a conviction about it. Right. You should have a conviction about your church service, about your home church. What well, is tomorrow? The next Sunday is what? Convention, uh, Founders. Founders Day. Me and my wife, Katrina, we was looking to see, and I think it would be, be nine years, ten years in July. July would be ten years that we joined. Brother Jimmy, you remember the things that we, yeah. we uh, committed to. We made a commitment. It's kind of like a marriage. You know, we had a, a ceremony here. I said that I would uh, do some things. That I would put the church first and the church people first before that I would my own self and my own wants, my own. But you know what, brothers and sisters, when you got saved, you made a commitment to God. The Bible said you're not your own anymore. But we're bought with the price, the precious blood of Jesus Amen. was shed at Mount Calvary for you and I to have eternal life. Amen. And we, it's the greatest liberty and the freedom of the world to be free from sin. But we're bought with the price. We're not to go and do our own thing no more. I mean, praise God. Hallelujah. We have a direction. Amen. I thank God for this church. I thank God that we're at one of the best. Amen. Brother Jimmy, I'm telling you, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah, I've known you all, uh, most of you, about all my life. Before I got sad and after. Yeah. And uh, I thank God for your faithfulness, and I thank God for your prayers. I, I tell you, it's a good fellowship. I mean, you know, glory to God. We, we don't have everybody here tonight, but I, I tell you what, amen. We need to... We need to draw nigh to God more than ever have. We need to get back to where we was with the God. Amen. We need to uh, repent. We need to turn to God with all of our heart. Amen. Praise God, Jesus is coming. We need to be ready. But he said if we, he said, uh, if we have bitter envy and our strife in our hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, and devilish. Hmm. I know what kind of wisdom he's talking about. <laughs> we could use that down to use car lot, but it doesn't work in the house of God. And we better not use it out there, what I mean. Better not do that either. We ought to tell the truth about something. It's better to take a little, uh, amen, take a little hurt out of her pocketbook than it is out of this. Amen. amen. Our bank account, he said, lay up your treasures in heaven. Where moth and rust does not corrupt. Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. For where your 
heart is, or where your treasure is, your heart will be also. Lay up your treasures in heaven. Amen. Glory to God. Lay up your treasures in heaven. Praise God. Hallelujah. There's nothing the devil can't touch it. Right. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. He can't bother you. Amen. When you're in the right. Amen. I'm telling you, right will always prevail. Amen. The world, it don't look like it. This warfare is going to get more like Old Testament, I think. Yeah. Praise God, where the they was out on the battlefield, you know, and that, they were surrounded, and there was the prophet of God and, yeah. and his servant, and he said, we're outnumbered. He said, look around again. Right. He said, Lord, open his eyes, he can see. Yeah. Chariots of fire, glory to God, hallelujah. Yeah, oh, I realize that there's tanks and there's bombs and there's all kind. Of, my goodness, I looked on YouTube at some of the instruments of war, and it's, 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 it's amazing. But it ain't nothing to <laughs> compared to the power of God. Amen. Whoa, hallelujah. The shadow of the Almighty. He that abideth under the shadow of the Almighty. Praise God. Hallelujah. Mm, my 911 was Psalms. 9 1 1. Psalms 91, verses 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the old body. Woo! Glory to God. Hallelujah. Unknowingly, really, that day that that happened, they asked me to speak at uh, Davis Pipe. We had a chapel. They asked me to read, and I read Psalms 91.1. That's what I read. Told all the men, I said, let's get out a coin. I said, look on there. I said, God, we trust. We trust in God. Amen. Hallelujah. I said, I know that there's bad things. It was a horrible thing. I just couldn't grasp hold of sin. Well, I look at those buildings on TV. Never got over that, Brother Jimmy. I said, what in the world's them little things falling, them little things falling out that was people jumping to their death for the heat that was in that building? Mm. I don't know what I'd have done in that situation. I don't know. But I'd have been calling on Jesus, wouldn't you? I'd have been calling on him. No doubt some went to heaven, some went to hell. You know, the hell and, and, and enlarge itself. We don't like to talk about it. I don't like to talk about it. I had nightmares of hell when I got saved because of my past. I, seen, I remember the old fellas, you know, the, the people that I was my, my friends, my family changed from, light to, from, you know, it was day and night. My life changed. The people that I had been around and they didn't get saved when I got saved some of them never did some of them never will that's hard and you know where they're going if they don't get saved it breaks your heart because you love those people and we do love the people God loves the people God loves them it breaks God's heart God doesn't want to see nobody perish he would that all men everywhere would be saved But the wisdom that is from above, I better get busy, where envy and strife there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Glory to God, hallelujah. It wasn't that way before when I, it's not that way in the world, is it? Amen. Amen confusion on every hand amen intentional uh, but, and the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace I've got other scriptures and I think that might be a good place just to stop right there but you know bless the peacemakers for they shall obtain mercy uh, they be called the children of God and the beatitudes he said bless the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God hallelujah I want to be a child of God, don't you? Amen. Amen. I am a child of God. I was born into the family of God. But I want to please my Heavenly Father. Yeah. Do you know he said that a, a, a wise son makes a glad father? A foolish son, I talk about wisdom. He brings reproach on it. It breaks his father's heart. I don't want to bring reproach upon it. I really don't. And not if I know my heart, I want to please God. And how do we please God? We 
You know, how do we love God? The Bible said if we love God, that we'll keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. Commandments of God. This whole world today, you know, it's full of the pleasures. And we've got to choose the one thing that we do as suffering for Jesus is push those things aside. The devil, he's got a lot of traps out there. A lot more so today than ever have been. These young folks and a lot of people coming up. But you know what I think the most of all? Church attendance, the Word of God. I only, the Word of God, when I speak of the Word of God, I stick with the King James Version. I'm not too smart. I don't know what else, but I don't need, I don't know. I don't want no changes from what the day that I got saved and what saved me was the Word of God. I know that the Word of God saved me. St. John 10, or verse, uh, St. John chapter 1, verses 1, he said, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was within the beginning with God. Amen. He's always been. Jesus, the Word. And he said, The Word is quick and powerful. It takes the preaching of the word. The preaching uh, to those that perish is foolishness, but to us it is the power of God, the word of God. Hallelujah. In closing tonight, I don't know. While every head bowed and every eye closed, I don't know if you're saved tonight, or, but I know most of you tonight is uh, okay. If you're here tonight and you don't know Jesus and the free pardon of sin, then this invitation is for you. I, I, I don't know your heart. I can't see your heart, but the Lord knows. And uh, it's God's will that everybody be saved, that none should perish. But I'm here tonight, and uh, the Lord's called me to preach to a lost and dying world and, and uh, to preach the Word of God. And if you're here tonight and you don't have Jesus, then you don't have life. And if you don't have life, there's only one, one or two of two places that you either go. It's heaven above. That's what I know. I've told, I mean, I, I don't care what the world says, there's still a heaven above and a hell below. And Jesus will take you to heaven. And he's the only way, the way, the truth, and the life. If you're here tonight and don't know him, you can know him, the free pardon of sin. If Jesus is speaking to your heart tonight, I wouldn't put it off, but tonight would be your night to know him, the free pardon of sin. The wise man built his house upon a rock, and when the storms came, the rage of storms, that house he dug deep, the house was upon a rock, it stood the test of time. But the man that built his house upon the sands, when the storms came, he was torn down and sunk. You see, it's not if the storms come, they will come either way. That the wise man built his house upon a rock. The wise man was, the, Jesus said, that doeth the things that that he hear a doer of the things that he heard him speak as a wise man. He said, I liken to him as a wise man that built his house upon a rock. The foolish, the world today, the sinking sands. But we can have that firm foundation, and it's in Jesus. Let's pray. Father, we thank you tonight for your mercy and your grace. Thank you tonight, Lord, for your word and we know today, God, that your word's true, your word's right. We ask tonight, God, that you'd help us, Lord, to ever do what you'd have us to do. Lord, we pray that if there's one here tonight that don't know you and the free pardon of sin, uh, that they, Lord, would come before it be too late. And Father, we know today that you love us and so much that you gave your son Jesus to come, bleed and die and suffer at Calvary gave his life that we could be free. Lord, we just ask tonight that you would uh, 
continue to deal with the hearts and Lord that you would forgive us where we fail and God that you would guide us and I pray that if there's one here it's lost that they'd be saved before it's everlasting too late Father we give you praise and glory in Jesus name Amen Bless you.